Let me tell you the real story behind Game Guardian and whether it truly works on online games. Most people think the answer is simple, but the truth is far more interesting. It's not really about offline versus online, and it's not even about whether a game is server-side or client-sided. What truly matters is where the game keeps its secrets, inside the memory of the device. Some games trust the player's device. They store values like health, cooldowns, UI numbers, and even some timers right in the local memory. When a game works this way, Game Guardian can reach those values directly. It's like opening a door that isn't locked, because the client is in full control. But other games live in a different world. A world where the real values are stored far away on the server. Even if you change something on your phone, the server immediately corrects it. In those games, you're only touching shadows, fake numbers that look real for a moment, until the server overwrites them with the truth. And then there's the maze. Some games hide their values behind math tricks. Instead of storing a simple 100, they store something like 100 times 13, plus 7. Others move values constantly, using dynamic memory layouts or pointer redirection, so you have to chase the value as it shifts around. On top of that, anti-cheat systems watch everything, root checks, integrity checks, and detectors that monitor for unusual behavior like speed hacks. It becomes a quiet war in the background. The data itself also matters. When a game uses simple numbers, normal integers or floats, they're easy to find. But when developers pack the data, encrypt it, XOR it, or compress it, the hunt becomes more complicated. Not impossible, but definitely harder. Some values are buried in arrays or behind multiple levels of pointers, turning a simple search into a deeper investigation. Even the timing of synchronization plays a role. Some servers check everything constantly, correcting any change the moment it happens. But others only sync occasionally. In those rare moments between updates, certain edits can temporarily stick. Movement speed, local cooldown visuals, animation timing, these are often controlled by the client and can be manipulated before the server notices. Modern games don't stay in one category. They mix everything together. Your real currency and items are protected by the server. But visuals, UI states, and some timers are handled by the client. Temporary effects, buff timers, and local movement can be influenced long enough to matter. So the truth is this, Game Guardian works when the client is the one making the final decision about a value. If the device controls it, you can change it. If the server controls it, you can only change what you see, not what the game actually uses. Unless, of course, you discover a loophole, some timing trick, a desync, or a mirrored value stored on the client that the developers forgot to protect. Game Guardian is powerful, but it always follows the rules of memory. The real question isn't whether a game is online or offline. The real question is, who controls the value you're trying to change, the client or the server?